Friction, friend or foe? Friction occurs when two surfaces come into contact with one another. It is the force that resists the motion of the object. There are two types of friction, dry and fluid. Dry occurs between two solids. Fluid occurs in water and air. This is sometimes referred to as drag or air resistance. With dry friction, the rougher the surface, the more friction there is between the two substances. A soccer ball will travel fast when kicked on ice and slow when kicked on grass that's really thick. So is friction a good or bad? Well, let's find out. When a soccer player kicks a ball along the grass, friction between the grass and the ball will slow the soccer ball down. The player needs to kick the ball with enough force to overcome the friction and make sure it gets to their teammate. Notice this swimmer. Swimmers have to overcome the friction of drag while in the water. Special swimsuits and swimming techniques help with this. This is the sport of curling. In the sport of curling, the athletes want friction to slow the stone down and land within the center of the target. Here we have the sport of race car driving. Race cars use their treads on their tires to help increase friction and prevent them from slipping on the road so they can make the turns. Race cars also use their brakes to create friction with the tires to slow down the car as they come to a turn. All this friction can create a lot of heat, something that race car drivers need to be aware of so that their engine does not overheat and cause problems. Here are some skydivers. Skydivers use parachutes to increase friction, otherwise known as air resistance, and slow them down as they head towards the ground. Is friction good or bad? Well, it depends. Sometimes we want friction to slow us down, and other times we want to keep on moving. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.